Your devoted father to see you. How's your back? What do you care? I'll give you the lift to the hospital. No, thank you. Save on cab fares. I'd rather walk and cause permanent damage to my spine than take a lift from you. Come on, Sophie. Come on what, Dad? You've tried it on with my physio, that now thinks you're a perv and wants nothing to do with me. I've tried to explain. Explain what? You practically groped her. No, I didn't. Can't blame her for running a mile, Dad. I'd have probably done the same. Look, I said I'm sorry. I apologise to her. If it's any consolation, I feel the biggest pillock that ever walked. Hang on. Oh, look, I'm completely pain-free. It's a miracle, just because you said sorry. Sophie, there are other physios at that hospital. Well, I don't want anybody else. You don't know until you try. I wouldn't be in this fix if it wasn't for you, so why don't you just shut up and get lost? So what are you going to do? <sighs> I'm just going to have to go along, aren't I? And see what they give me. Sophie Webster. Does this mean that... How's that back from yesterday? Yeah, it's no worse. Come on, let's have a look at you. It's obviously just a tumble, but go easy on the exercises for now. Okay. I can't believe my mum come to see you. No, oh, she cares about you. I, um, I didn't think that you could just change your mind. Well, I hadn't got as far as requesting that your care be transferred, and I decided it was in your best interest to keep things as they are. Gosh, I'd have killed my dad. I still might. I think the less said about him, the better. I, um, I know he's feeling really guilty, though. He asked me if I wanted a lift, but I said, no, Dad, I'm fine. Good for you. I don't suppose you're going back that way, are you? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Look, I don't think lifts are a good idea, Sophie. Or presents. Have I got you in trouble? No. I'm, I'm just making sure that you don't. Okay. Thank you. Speaking to Jenna. So she saw you then? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't sure when I left her if she would or not. It's just brilliant. Oh, not really. Oh, come on, you didn't like her from the start. And it must have cost you something. Yeah, well, whatever. And you would have had to take time off work. Well, if it helps you, that's all I'm glad about. So you had a good session? Yeah, I haven't even injured myself from my fall. Oh, that's good news. <laughs> well, I'm off to work now, but there's some lunch in the fridge if you get hungry. Or you could let me treat you instead. Oh, what's this debt repayment? If you like. Well, what slap-up meal are you offering? Seafood with vegetable accompaniments. Or as we would say, fish and chips. And mushy peas. Say, how can I resist? You OK? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, OK, Connie. He tried to snog your physio. Yep, so if I ever want to be sick, I don't need to stick my fingers down my throat. I'll just think of that. Were you jealous? Don't be stupid. Oh, it's so gross. Mind you, she's tasty. There is no excuse, Ryan. If my mum had gone to the hospital this morning and talked around, then I probably would have been transferred to someone else. So everything's on track again? Yeah. You know it's time to, sure? No, I am. Come on, what's wrong? I know you, Soph. Right. It's just... Go on. I was angling for a lift, right? Only she said she couldn't. She had to keep a professional distance. Well, that's fair enough. No, she's done it before. And she said there to be no more presents either. Maybe she's realised she went too far. Not me, Bear. She's just trying to close me down. She wasn't taking you back on if that's what she wanted to do. Just something has changed. She's now cool and she's polite, but oh, something's changed. Maybe it's her way of saying, don't get the wrong idea. Just because she's changed her mind about seeing you doesn't mean any anything goes kind of thing. Yeah, maybe. Try not to let it get to you.